so my thought is what is the goal of a general intelligence like how do we articulate what that is that is the good question that is the perfect question because at one point if we ever get near enough to uh, general ai we're going to have to give it a goal and that goal uh, either can be accomplished which at that point that's it there's no more motivation or it can be accomplished and it's just going to try and get better and better and better uh, probably the best example as a thought experiment is uh, Vicky from um, uh, what's the name of this of this one book? It's even a movie. I Robot. Uh, I don't know if you remember. So the like movie protect with, with humans, Smith. right? And it, yeah. Exactly. So that's the goal. The goal is to protect humans the best possible way, and eventually, the best possible way is you have to control them because if not, it's not going to work. But again, that's an objective. Uh, that the computer is eventually going to find the potentially the best way, even if it's not the best for us. So that's why, and, and I think we've all learned this when we're coding, computers will only do what we code them to do. Once we reach general artificial intelligence and the only thing we actually end up coding is the goal uh, and you know a specific algorithm code so it keeps learning, eventually it's it's gonna get out of our hands because it, it can program itself. I mean, it's going to be able to program itself. But again, I don't know if we're, you know, 30 years from it, 60 years from it, or if we're ever going to reach general artificial intelligence. I think we are, I just don't know where, when. So, I, you know, I think that, that there's a really interesting, again, crossover with your research, but also your perspective from your experience in psychology. How do we set good goals that are optimal for humans or aren't aren't harmful like wh what is there a process we can take is there something you know you don't have to come to like a manifesto now but i think that they're like you know are there rules of thumb that we should take into account when we are setting these dependent variables or these evaluation criteria yeah it's um i mean everything that has to do with um what what being humane means is, is going to be subjective but i think uh at least personally and um, following you know philosophers like Daniel Dennett, they say that probably the best uh, standard that we can use is well-being. you know what is the well well-being for for humanity in general, for people in general? Uh, we can start making objective evaluations. So for example, is my algorithm uh, generating well-being in the mid to long term for people? 